Peak bloom there happens in just about three days, so we're very close to that. And our Julie Wright found some trees already in full bloom. She joins us live from the Willard Intercontinental Hotel. Tell us all about it, Julie. Yeah, right now, Alex, I am live inside of the Willard History Gallery at the Willard Hotel with Barbara Body. So we meet again. Yes, thank you. And tell me, what is the significance? Why does the Willard Hotel embrace the Cherry Blossom Festival? Well, much of the things we do here are really grounded in our history. Mm -hmm. And we have an amazing history with the country of Japan. We hosted the first ever delegation to come from Japan to America in around 1860. Uh, there was a retinue of samurai princes and their servants, 70 people, who took up an entire floor for a month. And it was the first time that Washingtonians met samurai princes, gentlemen in robes, first time the ladies of Washington saw this, and the first time they might have seen ladies in hoop skirts in Washington. So it was a real cultural exchange. You, you call it a cultural exchange. I'm sure it was a cultural shock to some <laughs> extent. Now, we also are looking at some pictures that we have on the board. Uh, we just showed the first picture of, of everybody arriving here to the Willard. The second picture, the Japanese delegation, they're curious about what was called back then a wheeler. What is that? Well, this is a picture of the Willard seamstress. And of course, in Japan, most things were made by hand. I personally have a beautiful kimono that was handed to me, which is all handmade embroidery. But we were already using a, um, a sewing machine. So this looks like the first time that these guests have seen a sewing machine. So this has just been a truly remarkable experience. So we are standing in the history gallery, uh, and, and basically in history all of itself, because as you can pan out, Vanessa, go ahead. This is a beautiful gallery with all kinds of pictures and little trinkets that we still have here. And of course, we do have some special guests. I, I know you didn't want me to show this, Barbara, but I did. Vanessa, if we could quickly. Uh, one of the things that stood out here in this room was a picture of Steven Spielberg. He was here and photographed here with our very own Barbara Bonnie. Bonnie. Now, you said that this was the only picture that we had of Stephen Well, the, yes, this was actually taken when Tom Cruise was here fil filming Minority Report. Okay. And when we created this panel, which is cultural events, we wanted different films that were, were shot here. We have Kevin Bacon here in Hollow Man and uh, some other films that were done here in television. Here we have Plasso Domingo and the Young Artists. And that was the one picture we had of Steven Spielberg in our Willard room. So this Willard Gallery is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some new features, some new attractions coming this way as well. So if you're a guest here at the hotel, make sure you stop by and check out all, all of the historical memorabilia that we have. Thank you, Barbara Bonnie. Thank you for having us here at the Willard it this morning. It is a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Ladies, you. back to you.